cross those those boundaries and barriers that we have today. That's exactly what it's all about. You see, you see, mediated reality is about taking the reality and reinterpreting it. Right. So, so when I when I leave a note, I leave a message on the wall, a scribble on the wall, and leave a note in this mediated reality world, and somebody else wearing the eyeglasses sees it. They're seeing it on the real world. The idea of cyberspace and the real world become one and the same. Mm -hmm. When you're playing in one of these cyber fountains, you know, there's a reality of, you know, you can't simulate the virtual reality experience of jumping in the ocean on a VR headset. <laughs> you can't really go for a swim in, in a, in, with a VR headset because there's this physicality to actually frolicking. I, I, I think of this, I call this sophisticated frolic, you know. <laughs> You can blow, you know, you can have a flute that you can just, just blow into, but with the water going through it, it becomes this really, um, uh, this idea of, of sophisticated frolic is one of the things. It's this, Albert Einstein once said that the reason that he felt that he was always so creative is he never grew up, he remained a child all his life. There's wow. this natural, innate curiosity that gets, that we lose sometimes, and I, I'm trying to make people real, realize or, or not lose that and, and stay in touch with the inner child in themselves. Yeah. And that's what all this design is about. And when I, when I actually look at it, I mean, you know, when I first saw it, I thought it was, you know, something really cool. And it looked like it mimicked sprinklers to me, right? So I kind of wanted to just jump through it. But, um, but looking at the technology that we have behind it, it's, it, and you're right, it is so sophisticated. But at the same time, it brings out that fun factor and makes you sort of want to just go and play it. Yeah. Know, can, I just, can we just ask the question, what is Steve Mann going to be doing over the next five or ten years? <laughs> What, what, what cutting edge things or what direction do you want to take your life or what do you want to accomplish over the next few years that's important to you? I don't know, I'm, I invent things, you know, like I invented a, a, a file to cut into a contact lens version of this apparatus that fits on contact lenses to modify what you see with computers wow. as they get smaller over the years longer and yep. doing the fountain thing on a, on a more broad scale. But also just, you know, keep, I want to keep inventing. I want to keep coming up with new things. I guess in many ways, I, I, like a, like a, I like to start new uh, trends or concepts and, and, and see where they go. And and also we want to develop this, uh, you know, for example, this we've already developed this into a commercial product. We want to we want to push the industrial design aspects of this. Like, for example, how can we get creative with these sorts of things? So you, yeah. we've got all these inventions, but there's a lot to be done to make things look nice as a product, to make it work in the, in the, in, in the commercial sense as well as, as, as academically as a research agenda. And I think, you know, I think given um, your sort of vision to have that sophisticated frolic and, you know, to be able to allow everybody to interact regardless of those boundaries is something that's going to help you to um, allow us to experience everything that you've created. Um, and, uh, and we're really, really looking forward to, uh, to seeing more of your creations. Thank you. Cool. I mean, breaking boundaries <laughs> is, it, 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 it is what we we like to do. Like, I mean, one of the things that you think of is, you know, children's playgrounds, you know, the kids run through the sprinklers, but adults are too, don't want, you know, you know when you're an adult, you don't want to put on your bathing suit and run through the sprinkler. It would seem too childish. So I think everybody wants to do it, but nobody oh, wants to, to admit that they want to play like that. But the thing is, with something like this, we can do a jazz number or a classical number, and then yeah. it adds the element of sophistication that crosses generational boundaries. So you see... Uh, young children playing with their grandparents or something, both of them, you know, all in the water together, you know, there's very much a spirit of, of, of being together and and, um, and and connecting and sharing the space. And after all, that's the fundamental thing that we all really want to, to have, right? Yeah, I think deep down inside we want to connect with other people in, 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 in a very primal sort of way. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Steve, for having us over. All right. Really privileged to be here. Thank you. Cool. Ha, ha, ha.